I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. You're good. Excited to spend some time with you. So I know you a little bit. That's good. Yeah. So tell us about yourself. Background, how how you ended up at the University of Buffalo, etc. Uh, background, born in Hamilton, grew up there, played high school football up there, and up until uh, I was training at SST, I was training with a Thai cat named Cedric Gagne Marcou. He said, if you ever want to try and get to the States, which he knew was my goal, you got to go play where some of the best football is, and that was at that time at Seja. So I went to his school at Champlain, went up there, won a bunch of awards, had a great season. We lost championship, but then after that, got started getting more exposure, got selected to a Team World game. Mm -hmm. It was the first one. Got to play in Florida, play against some top talent, and uh, that's when... Buffalo really started to pull the trigger, and then actually I came up to Ottawa after that to play the Sooners, mm -hmm. and uh, Tristano Raponi got me in touch with uh, Shorter, who was my recruiter at the time, Coach Shorter, and uh, basically it was one phone call, drive down, visit, offer in hand, came to Buffalo. What's the best thing you do? As a player or a person? As a, as a, as a player first. I would like to say... I have this thing where anyone around me that plays with me is going to feed off it, this energy. I've had a coach tell me that I'm the heart of this team, and you can see no more than University of Buffalo this year. When I got went down with the knee, we didn't do anything. That was the heart. I'm someone that is a, not a vocal, really, leader, unless if I feel like the coach of this team or the team values is, not, is being jeopardized by some person who's not withholding his end of the bargain. I have no problem stepping up to him and telling him what it is. But at the same time, I also realize that I have to uphold and do everything that I say to this guy as well. So your dad played for Hamilton for a little while, right? Do you yeah. have any issues of playing somewhere else, or do you want to? Did you have it in your mind that someday you'd like to play on the same team your dad did? You don't care. Do you no. play anywhere? I played. I played everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. You came up to Ottawa to play for the Sooners yeah. and. Great town, love that town actually. Love, love every town I've been in and play football in. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything that separates you from the other guys playing or here this weekend? Yeah, it's because I'm. I believe that I'm probably the best lineman in this draft. And why? Why? Because I'm going to get that job done no matter what. And I'm going to give you every piece of my body I can give, and I'm going to play with a relentless passion and aggression, and at the same time the discipline in pass pro and the knowledge that I think I can bring more. I bring a lot of knowledge to the table that I don't think a lot of people have. So you said a lot there, which yes. is good. You're a confident guy. Yes. Describe yourself in two words on, as a player on the field. Two adjectives. Relentless, reliable. Okay, good. Buffalo is a bit of a party place, isn't it? No. No? No. That's not a party school? No, you got that wrong. No? We have no frats. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. But how, what do you do to when you're not doing football? When you're not, because you're a pretty well, intense the Niagara, guy. The Niagara River's right there. You got to find a way to balance yourself. So I'm fishing. You're a fisher. Okay, yes. good. All right, I like that. Any skeletons in the closet we need to know about? I have nothing to hide. Not even your hockey career? Yeah, I'm a horrible hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got suspended from hockey a lot, so apparently I hit too much. <laughs> What's your long-term goal in football? What do you want? First thing, I want to win a great cup. I want to want to be a Hall of Fame career, and then after, I want to get into coaching. Yeah. I'm glad you're not afraid to say those things. That's good. Yeah, that's good. A lot of guys wouldn't sit there and say, I want to be a Hall of Fame player. So that's a big statement, and I'm rooting for you, buddy. So, All right. That's it. Okay. Good job. <sighs> Appreciate your time. Good job. Good job. Nice talking to you, all right? Good job, man.